مساء الخير على حضراتكم اهلا بحضراتكم بحييكم ويلكم تو ذا لاست سيشنز ديورينج ذيس يير فور منتورشيب ليرنينج ويب ويلكم اول دير فيلوز اند اول ذا منتورز كونجراتيوليشنز فور فينيشينج ذيس اميزينج يير of mentorship and learning web and uh, for the second year congratulations for your graduation uh, today we'll discuss together the key learning points during uh, our sessions in mentorship learning web the key learning points include our experience as the designers for uh, the mentorship learning courses uh, regarding the process itself, the scientific content, and how we conduct this scientific content and discuss various scientific activities or modem. This is the first key learning point as a designers. The second key learning point We will discuss together uh, uh, regarding our participations in different uh, um, courses as a learners. Also regarding the content, the teamwork, and the involvement in various courses. Uh, what will be going on during this session? Uh, after this introductory uh, work, We will divide into small groups activities. We are 12 groups for the mentorship learning web. Each group in a breakout room uh, with uh, the fellows with their mentors um, have a template, the worksheet uh, template for. This worksheet includes the key learning points as uh, designers for the courses and as learners and the participants in various mentorship learning web courses. We will decide key learning points. And during the activity, each group will assign timekeeper and reporter or presenter. Discuss together, then uh, present uh, one key learning point for the content, for the process itself, and for the teamwork as designers, and also one key learning point for the content and for the design as a learners. Here, we uh, give a feedback for uh, the other groups regarding the design of their mentorship learning web courses. Uh, the breakout room activity will last for uh, 25 minutes. Then we will collect together in a plenary together. Each group uh, will, um, by, uh, by uh, the reporters or presenter, present one key learning point for the designers and one key learning points as the learners and discuss together for five minutes. We have 12 groups by five minutes then We will discuss for 60 minutes. Each group present and discuss with other groups for five minutes. Again, welcome and congratulations for this amazing work throughout the year. Thank you. شيماء احنا جاهزين نقسم بريك اوت رومز تمام يا دكتور اه
مساء الخير
برضو سلام عليكم
ما انا عايز انا هو ايه اللي بيحصل؟ انا ما اعرفش انا كمان على الجروب بتاعنا الواتساب تمام؟ ولو كده نتكلم حسب الكلام على الواتساب يا جماعه لو حد حابب يغير حاجه طب فهميني اخر حاجتين كتبتوهم عشان انا مش فاهمه كده مش هعرف اتكلم بص يا هدير انا ممكن بص اول حاجه انت ليرنينج ان الكونتنت احنا اخترنا السيستم السي تمام اشمعنى المود اشمعنى ده بقى؟ عشان الكونتنت بتاعته كانت لطيفه وفي نفس الوقت الاسايمنت كانت قبل كده هو ده اخر حاجه هو ده اخر حاجه ده كان اخر واحد ده كان اخر واحد ولا اللي قبله ده اخر واحد اه ده اخر واحد طب انا اخر واحد ما عجبنيش انا كان في واحد قبل كده هو اللي كان تحفه ان هو مين ده لا قولي لي قولي لي كده الاسامي تاني عشان افتكر ايه اللي كان عاجبني قبل الباب ال انا مش فاكره وده هو ايه تاني مش فاكره ممكن نغير نعمل رينيم اي ايفون ولا عملت Hello again. Uh, uh, hope you are. Uh, uh, this was uh, an interesting uh, session. <laughs> to meet again and discuss all the points that have been uh, done all over the year. Uh, we will start now. Uh, with the first uh, group uh, in track one, uh, the organizational culture, uh, who will be the presenter? The group seven? Uh, no group one organizational culture or the group of organizational oh, okay. culture <laughs> sorry sorry no problem oh, ask me. If, uh, it, is the group one uh, ready or uh, for track one we can go to the group two if uh, student well-being and resilience for the time if they are not uh, still uh, ready. 
uh, I will show you again the, that we, are, we will uh, present a key learning point uh, as a designer and one key learning point as a participant or learning in another ML web group. Uh, this uh, will take three minutes and we will discuss if there is if there's anyone has a comment, further comment for two minutes. So each presentation will, will took five minutes. Uh, please, uh, the presenter for group one, uh, for the organizational culture. Um, um, hi, doctor. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hi. Uh, would you like me to share my screen? Oh, no problem. I will stop sharing. Uh, do you want me to share it from a presentation or from the Word document? As you we like. Both. Okay. Just uh, mention the key learning points and it. The easiest for you. Okay, so for uh, group one, um, we were organizational culture, track A. Our group mentor was Dr. Islam Farrog, and our team members were Dr. Bahja, Dr. Satyam, Dr. Lamia, Dr. Iman, and myself, uh, Minna. Uh, for us, the key learning uh, points uh, from designing and teaching our group's learning module. Um, the context uh, for us, we think that the context should have been more interactive and concise. And we also think that um, by teaching a new topic, we also learned the most. Uh, mm -hmm. In regards to the process, the teaching experience for online learning was a new experience for every one of us. So it was it. It was definitely challenging. Uh, in regards to the teamwork, the team coordination, we think helped us the most. So assigning uh, different tasks for everyone, um, I think is the best way to always go on with a project. And for the key learning from participating in other modules, um, we've seen a lot of interactive, attractive and engaging content like the videos, the interactive quiz uh, quizzes and gamification. Um, those were the most uh, um, attractive for us to to engage in the content itself. And in regards to the design, uh, several groups who use different technologies added to the learning experience. So, for example, uh, on the top of my head, the H five P program and the and the and the and the videos where we watch the the basic life support and then the video would stop and we would answer questions. Um, all of this was very interesting for us. Great. Uh, Dr. Hani, uh, uh, have you any comments on this? Uh... Yes, yeah. yeah, this is great. And I think um, uh, all just key learning points will be repeated among the groups uh, um, regarding the innovations. Uh, the new learning experience uh, from uh, conducting online courses or model and there's a, a different scientific content so, uh, most of them are innovative and new uh, topics uh, thank you for the group uh, and i um, good luck and congratulations for the second year fellows for their graduation thank you doctor thank you dr Henry, for this uh comments uh, for the group uh, two in the same track uh, student with being and resilience okay, may i share the screen please to dina yeah. uh, uh, okay on behalf of group two track one uh, uh, dr dina uh, could you please uh, raise uh, your, your voice because we can't hear you okay uh, on behalf of Group 2, Track 1, supported by our enthusiastic mentor, uh, Dr. Veda Mansour, uh, other team members, uh, Dr. Marwa Deep, Dr. Hamza Magdi, Dr. Abir Ate, Dr. Farman Ali, and myself, Dina Fouad, we enjoyed the experience. The key learning from uh, designing and teaching uh, your group's learning module uh, in the content. Creating a course on university students' well-being and resilience offered an incredible opportunity to explore this vital content. As creation is the highest cognitive skills in the learning, this process enhanced our knowledge, refined our skills, and definitely positively shaped our attitude. It empowered us with tools to enhance stress management, emotional regulation, and mental toughness. E-learning in the process, uh, okay, 
the process or the experience, the inspirational experience of the ML work course as a unified team is the significance of collaboration and developing strong content that reflects diverse perspectives rather than single viewpoint. We learned the importance of setting clear goal, breaking down the large goals into small manageable tasks and effectively utilizing net resources to achieve a focused approach. One important skill that we've mastered at the end of this course is debate resolution. As a team, we've learned that together we are strong. The experience emphasized the importance of clear communication, time management, and task distribution, ensuring that each member contributing to delivering a successful course on time. Uh, regarding uh, other groups, the key learning in the content, participating in these courses provide valuable insights into diverse vital topics and highlighted the importance of active listening and exploring new educational pathways. The courses emphasize the value of continuous learning and staying current with advances in the medical education. We have learned a lot from our participants, group one, three, four, five, and six. Regarding their designs, navigating other teams' design, we were severely impressed with the fantastic work, uh, the Gen Z, the artificial intelligence, organizational culture, teaching and assessment uh, of evidence-based medicine and the telehealth. Actually, all of them were extremely innovative, inspirational and engaging. They showed creativity in the assessment. They opened new avenues for us to explore diverse course design methods. We've learned a lot from them. It enhanced our epistemic curiosity to pursue further knowledge and understanding. Thank you for everyone. It was a great experience. Thank you, Dr. Dina, for these uh, insights. Uh, it's uh, really great to uh, present such points. Uh, and uh, this adds a lot to us. <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Hani, uh, for your... Uh... Uh, thank, thank you for this uh, group and for Dr. Dina. Um, I think this is a feedback article. <laughs> they, discuss, <laughs> they discuss each point uh, in detail. Uh, this is the uh, teamwork of A fantastic Yes, yes, it is, it is ama ama amazing teamwork. Amazing teamwork. It, you discuss in, in each point in detail um, regarding the scientific content, the innovative uh, uh, implementations of different courses, uh, also the collaboration between the teamwork. Uh, I am. Um, um, I liked the idea of determining the overall goals and dividing the goal into different tasks, um, uh, assign jobs for each member of the group, uh, then uh, collaborate together. This is very important. Mm -hmm. From my point of view, um, all the groups should uh, consider the term safe environment for education. I think in, uh, in all the groups, uh, there was a safe environment for the education. There is a chance uh, to make an error. There is a chance to learn new something, a new skill. There is a chance to express your weakness and uh, uh, enjoy your strengths. It is very important to learn together in a safe environment. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Haney. And uh, now for the group three uh, and track A, the uh, teaching uh, uh, evidence-based medicine. Uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, Rimin Nawajha. It's my pleasure to uh, present on behalf of uh, the team, the group three, uh, under the supervision of Prof. Hiba Amin. First, the learning uh, and the, the one key learning in our content, uh, we believe in the say less is more. With respecting the alignment of ILOs, with teaching methodology and assessment through simplifying and integrating the theoretical content with the practical application. In our processes, actually, we use the applying different teaching strategies that cope with different learning styles. And again, with the teamwork, we believe in communication. The communication is a foundation of effective teamwork. Effective professional communication between the diversity of expertise through proper distribution of the rules. What we have learned from the other uh, modules, we have learned a lot. 
from the learning uh, and the content, exposure to diverse and up-to-date perspective in the various modules of medical education and leadership was amazing. And in the, in the design, they have used effective utilization of available facilities and tools in the model, including innovative techniques. Thank you. Thank you so much for this uh, concise and uh, well uh, uh, feedback. Uh, we learned a lot. Uh, and the title communication is the foundation of effective teamwork. It's, it's really great. Uh, maybe Dr. Henny uh, uh, wants to add something for this. <laughs> Thank you for the group. I uh, I like the slogan, less is more, which is very important. And there is a, uh, some sort of uh, technology or uh, methodology for teaching students uh, called KISS model. This is keep it easy for students. So um, uh, I think less is more uh, is a concise terminology. Also, the group uh, concentrate on the diverse and uh, um, valuable scientific content, and also the innovative methods and implementations uh, on board. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now for uh, uh, the telemedicine in medical education group. Yes, hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Alia. Uh, I am speaking. Uh, uh, for uh, group uh, or uh, just give me the minute uh, to share my screen. Okay, no problem. Yeah, maybe I have uh, a problem. And, um... Dr. Alia, I can share uh, mine. Okay. okay. Okay, I have a problem in sharing. So. Okay. So it's uh, now appearing uh, on the screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for uh, group four, uh, our course was uh, on telehealth or telemedicine in medical education. Uh, the key uh, learning uh, in the content uh, was that uh, taking in consideration uh, the needs of our learners uh, and the time allowed for uh, the course, uh, we set a clear uh, objectives and classified uh, the materials accordingly. Uh, and uh, we will uh, design the, the content and provided uh, various types of materials uh, to meet uh, the different learning styles of the students. Uh, the key learning point in the process, as we had a clear planning and clear objectives, we divided uh, the process into steps. Uh, we have uh, time for every step and uh, uh, the effective time management we learned through the process um, uh, was very important. Uh, we even experienced through the process uh, novel knowledge about the topic itself and about the various methods we included in the teaching. Uh, for example, uh, gaming, making uh, videos, and etc. Um, as a team, uh, we had a definite rule for each individual. However, a proper and effective communication between our team members was very useful uh, to complement uh, uh, everyone rule uh, from each uh, by communicating with each other uh, as everyone has uh, his own strengths. So we complement each other. The key learning points from uh, participating as learners in other groups one key learning in the content that we should engage the learners um, at every steps uh, in the learning process and uh, making it um, enriched with um, 
various methods of learning, uh, various materials, and uh, the uh, module for uh, G uh, Generation Z was very interesting to use as H5P. Um, one key learning uh, in the design, uh, as we said before, using a variety uh, of teaching methods, multimedia, interactive materials, uh, using uh, new technologies uh, uh, was very uh, useful uh, in our understanding of uh, every module and to be engaged uh, uh, along it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a great uh, presentation about the points. It's really uh, added to us uh, uh, about the technology and I think the technology is highly important now to add the technology to our presentations and our courses and uh, maybe Dr. Hani uh, can add more about this. <laughs> Thank you for the group. Also the group defines steps for making successful course or model to define the overall target, then assign tasks, uh, make a plan, uh, time management, use interactive methodology. Uh, thank you for mentioning uh, the medical education for Generation Z, my amazing group. Also, this uh, includes the using interactive tools and the multimedia in conductions of our courses. Thank you. We learn all together from each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Alia. And now for the uh, module 5 AI in clinical reasoning, Dr. Manjusha. Maybe Dr. Manjusha have a problem, has a problem. If if Dr. Manjusha has a problem, uh, maybe another team, another one of the team can present the um, the key learning points. Yeah, Dr. Aisha. Please present. Unmute yourself, uh, Dr. Aisha. Uh, okay. uh, I'm muted, yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I would like to thank uh, my team, our mentor, and uh, Dr. Hani, who guided us since uh, 2023. I would like to thank all the groups because their courses was very useful, interactive, and we learned a lot from them. Even today, I learned it from their presentation. Thank you very much. Regarding our uh, key learning from designing and teaching a group uh, as a learner model, we learned the following. As a designer, I'm sorry. For the content, the importance of thorough preparation and conduction of comprehensive research and review of diverse updated resource is essential to establish a solid foundation for the course. Regarding the process, uh, the thorough preparation with a clear objective and structured planning to foster alignment between the I knows, the teaching methodology and the assessment method is also a very essential. Adaptability and openness to revision all the time with a continuous improvement is essential. The teamwork uh, is very important. And to be a successful teamwork, there should be an effective communication because this will enhance team dynamic with regular updates and documentation which contribute to cohesion of our team. The continuous feedback among members will mitigate disagreement 
and will lead to a very good work that we all agreed upon. The key learning from participating as learning, um, really, I benefited from each course. And I am sorry that I couldn't tell all the courses, but uh, the course uh, Medical Education for this generation, it was a very nice of being interactive and practical, concise, light, and to the point. It, we, it kept us very engaged and it was really attractive. Uh, another thing regarding the design, uh, the interactive brick test. And here, uh, I would like to uh, thank the group of Dr. Manal Belkhair. Uh, I'm sorry which group she can maybe say, because she helped me to design the pre test. And we have a very uh, good colleague uh, uh, work, and we work it as a team among the groups. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Aisha, and uh, you had uh, special points that the not only the working inside the groups, that is also there's a collaborations between the ML, the ML web groups. Uh, so, so there is some teamwork, uh, another teamwork uh, uh, established rather than only uh, between uh, in bit, uh, inside the group. It is between groups. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Dr. Aisha. And maybe Dr. H uh, Dr. Hany can add something to uh, them. Thank you, Dr. Aisha. Uh, all the groups are amazing, uh, actually. Uh, Dr. Aisha and uh, her amazing group uh, also concentrate on, a, on an important point, the point of preparation and searching before we make a plan to conduct our course. We should search for the different resources, decide uh, the process of implementations of our course and the, how we interact with the learners. It is very important to prepare, then plan, then do. Prepare, do, plan, then check. I think uh, uh, all the groups uh, follow these uh, steps for success. Thank you for all amazing groups till now. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now for the programmatic assessment, uh, the first topic, uh, ML, uh, the first ML web module in track B. Doctor, we didn't finish yet. We are group six. Uh... Oh, sorry. Our, um, our oh, amazing how, group. How is our they? Our amazing they? group. <laughs> <laughs> how can I? How can I do this? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Dr. Aisha, Dr. Aisha, Dr. can you stop your share? <laughs> I will uh, uh, commit suicide now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Before anyone kill me. <laughs> no. yeah, we are a friendly, forgiving group. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Medical education and Generation Z, the, um, Dr. Hany, sorry, I am so sorry. Okay, I'll start now. Uh, my name is uh, Shireen Badawi, and on behalf of Group 6, Track 1, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all for this opportunity and for being here today. Um, my group is Dr. Yasmin, Dr. Iman, Dr. Dina, and Dr. Moed. First, we are very grateful for Professor Dr. Haney. And we all would like to thank him for his amazing work. And myself, Yanni, I have a special thank you because I was lucky enough to, Yanni, he was the mentor this year and my last year in my ML web group. Uh, I think I'm quite very lucky. Yeah. But to start, uh, key learning from designing and teaching, um, the key learning in the content, knowing the features for Gen Z is quite very important. Um, and knowing their features, uh, they are a new generation, new teaching methods and new fe features of our students. The process itself was matching with the criteria of Gen Z being an interactive online teaching platform. Actually, it was somehow implementing what we were learning about. Yani the process of the learning through um, Famer itself uh, was, was, it, was in itself matching with the criteria of Gen Z. Uh, one key learning point in teamwork, uh, for us in our group, we were of different group age and different ba cultural backgrounds. So this was very uh, cooperative and it was a very a safe environment and we were able to work in harmony. Uh, regarding as learners for, for the other groups, first, of course, we would like to thank all the other groups for the amazing work and we enjoyed our time learning from all their work and uh, 
um, and their feedbacks on the discussion forum was so engaging and so uh, eye-opening. One key learning feature in the content, all groups were very innovative. We had a special interest in the course content of student resilient and the use of AI in clinical reasoning. Uh, also one feature in the design, the use of a pre and post test in the course of telehealth and telemedicine and medical education. Um, actually, we could not uh, summarize all what we enjoyed in all the ML web because again, all the groups were amazing and all the learning process was really uh, quite very interesting. Yeah, and thank you all again. Thank you so much for this presentation. Uh, really, it is an interesting point and uh, uh, Dr. Hani got it by luck, but he was the uh, he was. This is was the one for him. He got it by chance. And, yes, and I wanted uh, actually. I, I don't know how <laughs> until now. We feel very, uh, we feel very humble. He, uh, sorry, the uh, he suggested this topic, and by luck he get this. Yes. Amazing group, and by luck, he is well, he was the mentor. <laughs> and, uh, yes, it was. Uh, it was our was luck, really actually. Great experience, uh, and we really we are so humbled by the comments of the other group regarding our course. Yeah, we want to thank them so much that, that they had mentioned our course, and it's quite yeah, we are it's quite an honor. Yeah, and actually, our thanks again is extended to Professor Haini. Yeah. Mm, thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank, thank you, my amazing group. Uh, the, the group was really. Amazing. Um, uh, they have different skills. They communicate with each other and use their strengths uh, um, in uh, in a wise manner. Uh, also, the uh, important point uh, I mentioned is that we learn in a safe environment. We accept the errors of each other. We accept the mistakes. We accept the weakness of each other. We complement each other and cooperate together to produce. Uh, um, very uh, very attractive and nice work uh, thank you for my amazing groups uh, also um, other groups are the same they are amazing groups they divide the uh, job or the course into uh, successive steps uh, to ensure their success at the end again thank you for all thank you thank you dr Haney. Uh... Uh, for this uh, topic, because it was your suggestion. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it, it is the, 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 the era of today with artificial yes. intelligence. <laughs> yeah. uh, we will move to the next uh, group, uh, the programmat uh, programmatic assessment group. Uh, kindly stop sharing. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, Dr. Marwa and uh, Dr. Hani, is it possible to have access to the track two courses and vice versa? Because really it is very good to have uh, to pass through their presentation. And I'm sure that they did great work. Maybe yes, of course. We, will use this. We, we will we will communicate with the administrations to allow uh, the different tracks to see the work Thank of um, each other. Yes, Thank of you. course. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can we start? To... We cannot hear. Maybe the microphone is, is muted. Hi, doctor. Hi, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm Hadir Tohabi, the speaker of uh, Group 7. Uh, our mentor is Dr. Abir yeah. Sode. Uh, our topic like was the programmatic the, 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 the game. So you just came. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Doctor, are, are you speaking to me? Maybe uh, uh, please mute all uh, the microphones, uh, please, uh, to so we can hear each other. Maybe we can. Shayma, please, uh, if there is anyone, uh, please mute. Kindly mute yourself if you are not speaking. Please. Kindly.
Okay, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, um, our topic was program assessment. Uh, before approaching the topic, uh, we didn't have an idea about this topic. Uh, but after reading uh, many papers, uh, we could uh, conclude at the end that on applying programmatic ass assessment, we could gather a holistic view on learning rather than relying on a single uh, itself. Uh, we offered our learners for presenting to our, our learners. Uh, your um, your advice, Dr. Hate assessment. So we put checklist to be able to, so as not to miss anything on applying the program. We regarding working in a team, uh, it provided us with better communication skills. Uh, we became active listeners uh, and we could assign tasks for everyone in uh, the team according to his skills. And we, um, uh, we, we, we assigned the task for everyone according to his efficiency. Uh, like um, on making our video, we used uh, AI in the presentation. Dr. Walid helped us uh, in this issue. Uh, regarding the other uh, modules uh, that were uploaded on the Moodle, uh, the, I think uh, one of the most interesting topics was the standardized patient. It was uh, very interesting. The material provided uh, was um, thoroughly chosen. Uh, well, videos were fascinating. Uh, you could you rely on it solely without uh, without uh, reading too much. I like it very much. Um, regarding the design of their assessment, I uh, like choosing uh, like uh, case scenarios, uh, which um, could uh, assess our learning to the topic uh, than uh, the traditional quizzes uh, we've experienced in some of the modules. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Hadir, for these points. And uh, regarding uh, selecting the team members uh, to uh, to get the tasks according to their uh, uh, efficiency, like this um, skills, <laughs> and this is was so great uh, having these points in your. Uh, presentation. Uh, Dr. Hani, do you have any uh, comments? Uh, thank you for for the group. Thank you, Hadir. Um, uh, also, um, the point thank of uh, uh, making applicable assignments is important. Uh, the preparation for learning is very important. Um, uh, one point I need uh, to mention that in, in mentioning our key learning points for the other groups, uh, I think from my point of view, it is important to give examples of uh, the uh, amazing work in the other groups. Um, we liked it and uh, we say uh, we say, uh, see that this uh, are innovative process because each group performs their maximum effort. If it is mentioned uh, uh, by the other groups, they feel grateful and enjoy uh, this mention. Uh, I think to mention uh, examples, is better than uh, to make general rules for all the groups. Thank you. Thank you so I'm not uh, saying a gen general rules. Uh, I, um, even in our uh, assignments, I, I think a little bit it was traditional. But I was impressed by uh, some uh, by some talks. I, I felt that the assignments were uh, were very innovative. But all of them were were doing their best, and all of them were were more than perfect topics yes, and, and yes, perfect yes, assessments. Yes, you do. You, I you, got impressed with some of them. You do. You mention uh, the general and also they you assign some uh, activities and some groups uh, 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 in name. This is very important to mention both the general rules and also a specialized something uh, um, you like most and you enjoy most. You do this. You do this. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, for the, the eighth group, uh, the standardized patients for learning and an assessment. Uh, this is the time for their presentation. Hello, everyone. Hello. 
uh, uh, we are a group uh, A, track two. Our uh, ML web is standardized patient in learning and assessment of its care professional. My uh, colleagues in the group, Dr. Aula, Dr. Marmar, me, Dr. Ahmed Ali, Dr. Hamid Tamam, our mentor, Dr. Ansar. Uh, okay, learning and designing and teaching of this uh, medium. Regarding the content, we were very precise to define what is standardized patient, its application in teaching and assessment, and the process of implementation, and to be better prepared for real patient interaction in their future practice. The key learning is the process, the use of AI in presenting in our learning resources and designing the relevant assignment using the, the AI. In the teamwork, the diversity within uh, a team with the members with different background and experiences contribute rich ideas and innovative problem solving and clearly defining the rules and responsibilities help to ensure accountability and efficiency. Regarding uh, other modules, uh, first uh, key, key learning is the content, how to use AI in designing uh, assessments for the medical students, and is the design used using the uh, H5B uh, for interactive videos with incorporating assignments. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Ahmed. This is, was uh, really amazing. I was um, impressed by uh, what's uh, said. We were very precise to define what is standardized patients. Uh, this is the, the, the first point of the track, actually, uh, because uh, there is... Uh, many a similar uh, uh, definitions and each reflect uh, another uh, uh, maybe will lead to another track uh, or another way rather than the standardized the standardized patients themselves so uh, yeah, we were, of course it was very good to, to define what we were we will search for yeah. um, uh, dr Haney, if you have any uh, comments thank you for the group dr ahmed uh, also, um, I agree with Dr. Amarwa. You define what is standardized patients, and you uh, determine your uh, overall goal to prepare for dealing with real patients. This is very important. Um, uh, also, uh, use diversity within your teamwork uh, for, to get uh, uh, more strengths rather than conflicts. This is very important. Uh, and regarding key learning points, uh, I liked that you are precise. You choose the scientific content you most like, and also you choose uh, one of the uh, uh, most likely uh, processes you prefer. Thank you for the group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Dr. you so much, Dr. Ahmed. And now for the learning theories group. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, on behalf on uh, of maybe the connection is uh, somehow uh, not stable. Uh, Dr. Gadel, um, and our uh, room member was Dr. Abdurrahman, the connection is really uh, not stable. My voice is clear? Yes, now it's clear. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, on behalf of uh, our harmonious group, group uh, three, track B, uh, our topic was learning uh, theories. Uh, the group members were Still, still, uh, the voice is not uh, clear. Um, 
دكتور عبد الرحمن دكتور عبد الرحمن اي ثينك ذا شيرنج شيرنج سكرين تيك سم سم سورت اوف ذا كواليتي اوف نت يو كانوت يو كان ميك ات ويز شيرنج ويز ات شيرنج سكرين دكتور عبد الرحمن You can read it, Dr. Abdurrahman. Or other, uh, another member of the team. Or another uh, one can uh, present. Uh, if there is a problem, we can move to the next group. Uh, we can move to the next group, AI and assessment, if there is a problem in learning theories now, and we will get them to them so sooner. Okay? Hello everyone. Can you see my my screen? Can I uh, can I read uh, Sir Dr. Abdurrahman? Um, okay, okay. Group group nine. Group nine. Now for group okay. nine, Dr. Aisha, kindly stop your sharing your screen, and we, uh, we are now in group okay. nine. Uh, okay. I'm sorry no for problem. this, Dr. Aisha. Sorry for this. Okay, Dr. Uh... Group nine. If you couldn't even share the screen, one key learning point. for the process or for the designing and one key learning point as a learner. Group nine, learning series. I think connection is difficult, like the topic, learning series. Can I uh, present for group three, track B? Okay. 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 Uh, key learning in content. Uh, we learn about the different learning theories and application of technology in learning in the modern era. Uh, key learning in a process efficiency and simplicity is needed to be integrated into the process as the material is vast and things need to be get done on time. Uh, learning in teamwork. Uh, effective and clear communication with each team member, uh, clearly defined uh, along with their cooperation and collaboration. This is about the designing and teaching your groups e learning module. About uh, key learning from participating as a learner in other group, uh, the, the key learning uh, in content, versatility of content, enriched our knowledge and touched the recent trends in medical education. Uh, key learning in design, versatility of idea, and the way to make up a project and different approaches to designing of the module platform, every idea counts. Uh, this is uh, our uh, benefit from uh, uh, be as a learner. Can I read? Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doc. Uh, we are so uh, no, I have no comments except uh, that this was great and uh, thanks for uh, adding uh, these points to our uh, uh, discussions. Uh, if you, Dr. Hani, has any. Uh, uh, th thank you for for the group. The subject um, is really difficult. The learning yes. series, <laughs> and from my point of view, I like the point of uh, implementations. to be efficient and simple. But to be efficient and simple, this is judged by the learners. Uh, this is uh, the viewpoint of the learners. If you could conduct such a um, difficult and um, vast um, subject in an efficient and simple way, it will be perfect. Thank you for the group. Thank you so much. And now for Dr. Aisha, we return back to you to, for the AI in assessment. Please share your screen. Is it clear? Yes. 
Okay, I am Dr. Aisha. I am uh, presenting in behalf of my uh, group uh, 10, track 2. Uh, my team work uh, co contains Dr. Ghada, Dr. Reem, Dr. Sierra, and Dr. Ahmed under supervision of Dr. Samah Sana Radi. Uh, our key learning from designing teaching in uh, our module first the key content for the key content uh, our content was about AI in assessment so uh, it is a very promising tool which is used without any limitation also we learned um, about many uh, many information about AI which uh, we didn't uh, know before uh, we had to read uh, and to collect the data about uh, the topic. Uh, we learned also uh, how it is uh, easy and uh, it doesn't need too much expertise or experience in using AI. Another uh, key learning uh, for the process, uh, our process in conducting the course was systematic, focused and planned. Uh, regarding uh, our team work uh, member, we have uh, diversity of uh, team member experience. We have uh, different uh, fields in medicine and also in dentistry. Uh, we collaborated uh, in our uh, work, so we, we learned how to collaborate uh, to conduct our module. Uh, regarding other uh, learning modules, one key learning in the content uh, using the topics were uh, diverse, focused, novel. Uh, the presentation were interesting and uh, motivating. Uh, also, all topics, uh, especially related to AI, was uh, were very motivating and interesting. Uh, regarding the design, uh, oh, almost all the groups used the modern techniques. Uh, in and interactive tools in preparation and the presentation of the courses and thank you all thank you so much dr aisha this was uh, really amazing uh, you mentioned the diversity of the team experiences as a one learning uh, uh, point and this is uh, was great to mention this and uh, uh, that's uh, the changing of our uh, also the changing of our uh, delivery teaching delivery methods uh, like modern tools and whatever this was also nice uh, thank you Hany, if you uh, if you had uh, yeah thank you for for thank you for the group and your efforts this is in our new era the use of artificial intelligence and use of this in um, assessment it is very important um, i think uh, uh, the group uh, perform an amazing job in defining their uh, overall goal and uh, the, uh, this, um, decide how to use the tools for achieving this goal. Because the use of uh, the different tools of artificial intelligence, from my point of view, is not that easy. The group mentioned it was easy, but from my mm -hmm. point of view, it's not that easy. Uh, we should decide uh, which target we, um, uh, we are aiming which tool we will use and the how we could use this tool. I think the, uh, the subject is, um, is a challenging. So yes. I, uh, I, 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 liked your, I liked your subject and your topic and how you conduct it. Thank you for the book. Thank you, Dr. Hany. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now for the publishing a paper in health professional education. Uh, group uh, 11, uh, 11 or group 5 in the track B? Uh, my screen is clear? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, welcome, doctors. Um, I'm, uh, regarding our team, we are group 11, track 2, under mentoring of uh, Professor Dr. Abu Ubaida Yassin. Our team leader was Dr. Iman Khalaf. Uh, our team keeper was Samar Murtada. Our reporter was Ahmed uh, Awad. And I am Christina Alphonse. Um, regarding the key learning from designing and teaching uh, our group's e-learning module, module uh, you asked for one key point, but we are uh, highlighting two much points under supervision of Dr. Abu Ubaida mainly. Uh, but the, the main two points I would discuss that uh, understanding user ne needs is very important specifically regarding our course was uh, very simple that we have to highlight the comparison or the differences 
during designing a, pa a paper for health professional education versus clinical research. Also, uh, we have to, uh, we learn to do an effective instructional design. Uh, and this was uh, highlighted by uh, uh, by the ML Web uh, Committee when we met the last time, uh, how to align the ILO with the assignment. This was very important and we learned it in our course. Uh, regarding the learning, uh, the key learning in process, we uh, encouraged collaboration. Uh, this was applied through the discussion forum uh, used as, a, as an assignment in our course. And the most important part was learning in the teamwork and our slogan in our teamwork, this ML web was no claim strategy. We learned how to resolve our conflict with with being clear in the roles and uh, picking the um, uh, excuses for uh, uh, everyone uh, due to uh, different circumstances. Uh, as learners, we learned uh, the, the importance of uh, technology integration. Uh, every one of us enjoyed a, a specific topic uh, uh, Iman enjoyed standardized patient, I enjoyed the system thinking, and uh, Summer enjoyed the AI in assessment, and actually all the courses were amazing and helpful and useful. Um, at the end, we uh, regarding the design, uh, we uh, highlighted or, or um, made sure of the importance and feasibility and the value of using AI in preparing courses. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Christine. It was really amazing, these uh, points, uh, especially the the no blame strategy and uh, how to manage conflicts inside the team. Uh, it was really nice to mention, and uh, and uh, this is, was uh, a great point. Uh, Dr. Hani, if you had any comments, if you have any comments. Yes, thank you for this amazing group. It is another feedback article. Yes. Uh, very amazing. <laughs> very amazing. Under feedback. supervision of Dr. Abu Bayt, as usual. <laughs> very amazing feedback. Uh, you, you mentioned in detail, in detail, the key learning, um, as mentioned. That the topic is very important and it is a regenerating uh, topic. The uh, publication helps professional education. We conduct this in mentorship learning in several patches, and it is very important. Uh, thank you for this detailed feedback. And, uh, and uh, we could use this as a model for the key learning feedback. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. Dr. Christine. And now for system thinkings, thinking uh, the, uh, the sixth group in track B, track rules. Um, greetings. I'm um, Yasmin Abu Laila. Uh, I will be speaking on behalf of um, uh, Group 12, uh, Systems Thinking. I'm just waiting for um, Dr. Heb to um, share her screen. Uh, well, uh, our team was uh, under the mentorship of uh, Professor Dr. Yasser Al-Wazir. Um, actually, to start systems thinking was a very challenging topic. We felt uh, lost for the first couple of meetings till we uh, read and searched the literature about it and made a, a, a thorough searching and uh, we watched videos to understand the topic. And actually, um, uh, we came um, to the understanding that systems thinking is um, actually a way of thinking. It is and can be applied to, uh, um, to uh, health profession education and to medical education um, through um, designing our curricula and integrating interconnected components like clinical skills, patient safety, and teamwork by using the different systems thinking tools like feedback loops and systems thinking mapping. Um, we also uh, um, came to understand that systems thinking actually bridges the gap between theory and practice. This was uh, key learning points uh, regarding the content. 
Regarding the process, we started by assigning tasks to um, each team member and we decided on the type of material that we should offer to um, the other candidates and we try to make our uh, resources as diverse as possible between videos and articles and uh, presentation. And also brainstorming with um, uh, the team members actually yielded many good ideas for the execution of our module, especially um, uh, the assignment. As um, learning, um, a key learning in uh, the teamwork, uh, the co collaboration and understanding along with clear tasks and prompt timelines were cornerstones in the success of uh, this activity or this um, course. Also the constructive feedback that we um, offered uh, um, to uh, each member offered to, uh, to the other member was very um, uh, positive. Um, as to the learning, um, um, as learners uh, uh, in other learning modules, um, um, a key learning content is that um, uh, all the um, contents were diverse and the objectives were clear and to the point. Um, and there were always um, a clear take home message and we gained insights from uh, um, application of the, um, of the different uh, modules. In uh, the design, the presentations were clear and there were um, divers and professional assignments uh, that were unique and enriching. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Yasmin, for this uh, uh, nice presentation and uh, for the nice uh, saying, the nice collaboration between the team members and getting feedback from each other. It was really an adding element to the Dyna team teamwork dynamics uh, that you accept feedback from each other <laughs> yes thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much Hany, if you have thank you questions. for the group you uh, the group used system thinking in preparations and the implementation of their course i think from my point of view that of the many many amazing topics to discuss today is system thinking and the programmatic assessments these two topics are two special topics uh, i think um, there are two special skills used for leadership and the management in our institute. Uh, thank you for the amazing groups, for the uh, well-organized steps to perform and implement their course. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Hain. Thank you so much. And now we are welcome. Any feedback uh, from the ML Web mentors uh, on the group, uh, them, on their groups themselves, or uh, and. Uh, if on the another groups, if uh, if anyone wants to add, I think maybe... Professor Marwa, I, I like to hear from Professor Yasser El Wazir. Um, uh, his feedback, we learn and uh, always from Professor Yasser, our our dear mentors, the mentor of the mentors, um, his feedback. And then other mentors are welcome, uh, each to give his or her feedback. Mm -hmm. I hope, uh, Professor okay. Yasser. Um, um, I think um, Dr. Yasser is not with us right now. Um, he left. Um, okay. I think okay. he had an urgent. So if, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If, if, if there is any mentor. Uh, good evening, dear all. Welcome, welcome, Zainab, our, you? Dear fellow. <laughs> our dear fellow, Zainab, our dear fellow, our best. How are you? <laughs> Prof. Marwa, my dear how are friend. You? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I enjoyed so much this um, uh, amazing uh, interactive uh, session. Um, I'd like to um, yeah, any, um, highlight uh, many points. First, um, as we uh, earlier uh, yeah, used to say that the community of practice, uh, uh, thanks God, our community is getting wider and wider year by year. Um, this ML web uh, gave me a chance to get um, uh, acquainted to many fellows who are all amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, fortunately enough, uh, today's session, I really enjoyed the um, topics because um, maybe I wouldn't uh, able to um, uh, recognize all these uh, topics uh, during the res uh, residential session. So um, I feel that um, uh, yeah, um, the topics are getting uh, uh, 
um, uh, very emerging, very innovative, uh, very linked to our um, uh, current uh, important topics. Uh, so um, really, I benefited much from today's session, from all the presentations, from uh, uh, all the speakers and enjoyed being with uh, or among my uh, dear colleagues and thank you thank you for the comments prof Haney and prof marwa and um, wish all the best for uh, all uh, the fellows thank you so much thank, thank you professor you so thank you thank you uh, okay. I, I am professor marwa um, uh, i would like to read what professor sana aradi write in chat uh, okay. The feedback for Professor Sana Aradi, our dear mentor, uh, and one of the board for the Mentorship Learning Web. Thank you all, dear fellows, for the useful, constructive reflection and feedback. Indeed, the target is achieved. Learning through ML Web give us all insights about our role as academic, how to prepare, and how to implement our courses. Thank you. Oh, thank you for Dr. Sana. We really missed her uh, because yes, she yeah. has a plan, a plan <laughs> now. A plan today, now. <laughs> now, during, now, during Shetty, right now. now. <laughs> uh, thank you, so here. Okay, the... we, we, are, we like to hear from other, uh, our dear mentors, their feedback and reflections. Also, if there is any uh, fellow want to, to make a comment. To, uh, yes, of course. You are welcome. Dr. Abu, I see, I can see Dr. Abu Ubaida. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Abu Ubaida. Oh. Assalamu alaikum, Jamian. Uh, Wa alaikum salam. Good evening, good night. There is, uh, I think, so different time zones. Uh, really, I enjoy the presentation by the fellows and their thoughts about uh, and, 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 and reflection, really. It is a reflection on their learning experience. And I think so. This is one of the new experiences in teaching and learning that to reflect on your learning experience, which is not, I think, slow. I think so. Well consolidated in our institutes, but I think so. This is a good chance for you as the fellows, and uh, and, and and mentors also to reflect on our uh, on this learning experience. And I think so. The main, I think so. The main key point that had been learned by all of you subconsciously is the process of curriculum development. When I talk about curriculum development, if you if you prepare a lecture, it is a curriculum. Workshop is a curriculum. A module or course is a curriculum. A whole curriculum or study plan is a curriculum. They carry the same, I think so, perspectives, process, and everything. For that, and I think so, uh, subconsciously, you practice this process starting from need assessment and till the evaluation of the whole process of, 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 of curriculum development. And this is one of the, I think, so one of the rich experience that had been learned by you. Um, don't forget this experience to be more consolidated by improving your content or your course or even holistically or your 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 program at 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 your at at your college uh thank you for uh, prof hani and prof marwa for giving me this chance uh, to reflect on this learning experience and thank you for all fellows and i congratulate you for your good achievement and now and i think so for those who are completing year 1 just prepare yourself for the instruction phase in January, inshallah. And for those who are completing uh, the second year, congratulations for graduation from ASU Mina Fry. And we hope to collaborate further in further uh, projects, either research projects, shared research project, uh, courses, or even any consultations. Uh, try to make our community of practice uh, using this fellowship program to enrich your experience and your knowledge and build concrete experience. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wawaida. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Wawaida, we are waiting for this every, every year. 
really I am waiting for these comments from uh, from you, Dr. Obaidullah. Uh, uh, Dr. Basim, uh, raising yes. your hand. Assalamu oh. alaikum. Alaikum as Can you hear me? Uh, I really yes. enjoyed uh, the feedback today and um, to have everything summarized in this brief, uh, concise way. Uh, just I want to comment from my side as a reflection. We taught something we didn't know about before, like system thinking was some um, new era for us, which we learned a lot from it. The point I want to highlight as well, which is the heterogeneity of the team member skills. So some of us has um, uh, teaching skills, some has uh, re research capabilities, other uh, are a big fan of technology. So take home for me was heterogeneous team make heterogeneous members makes a homogeneous team. So if uh, next time if I'm building a team, I make sure that uh, diverse skills will make team more successful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You, Dr. Basim. This Basim. Is, means that uh, heterogeneity not meaning uh, competing. <laughs> it no, no, com completing each other. Exactly, yeah, collaborative, yes. <laughs> competing yeah. and collab uh, co uh, completing each other and yeah. collaborate with each other. Yes. I I, I like you. this slogan. Thank I like so this much. slogan. Heterogeneity make commotion of steam. I yes. like this slogan. We yeah. we came with different slogans here in uh, yeah. in this session. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll ask for copyrights for mine. Yes, Thank of you. course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Basim and Dr. Ghada Mansour, Dr. Heba Amin. Any comments? Yes. Dr. Islam, um, we are like to hear. Dr. Islam, we are like to hear. Yes. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Sana Radi, Dr. Haney, and Dr. Marwa for this uh, smooth ML web. This year, I think it was different uh, from last year's. Uh, and during the residential session, when we were selecting topics and dates, it was um, it was innovating. It was uh, different. Uh, I also appreciate the choice of uh, topics. Uh, some topics, some topics were uh, new to most of us. Uh, I also appreciate the uh, stress that uh, the, the the course is the res responsibility of both uh, year one and year two fellows. This is very important, and also the individual tasks. Uh, uh, it's very uh, helpful that uh, it encourage all fellows to participate. Uh, I would like also to uh, to speak to fellows, uh, inshallah, after you finish your uh, project. Uh, I encourage you to adopt uh, one or two of these uh, courses to be implemented in your institute, whatever your position. Try to implement uh, what we have learned together in the ML web courses it will be very beneficial in your institutes. Thank you, everyone, and con congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Islam. Uh, the idea of uh, uh, that the task uh, um, to be involved with, with both year one and year two, this is one of the guidelines. Professor Sana Radi insisted on it. And uh, um, uh, the MLAB uh, board discuss and both these guidelines. All the fellows should share in the responsibility of their course in conduction, implementation, discussion, uh, and all activities. And uh, um, really, this year was amazing in performing such uh, um, a job um, in an amazing way. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Our <laughs> 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 uh, well, I, would, I would like to thank you very much for this great session, uh, interactive, uh, fruitful, enlightening, many things. I, I have many uh, to say about it. Um, throughout this, the ML web and throughout the year, uh, we learned as our fellows learn. I'm sure that even us as mentors, we, uh, it added a lot to us. Um, I, I, want to, I want to express all the appreciation to all fellows for their dedication, their achievements, uh, the value of their collaborative learning. Um, I think uh, I echo uh, Dr. Islam that implementing all these new uh, skills and knowledge in our institutes will make medical education much, much better than 
uh, we are now. Uh, I, I what also I want to say that uh, we we witnessed the development of our fellows throughout this year. Uh, their professional development, their growth as future leader, leaders in education, in medical education, uh, the development of their skills, the passion, and I hope uh, that uh, they also uh, learned from uh, from each other, and uh, I hope that uh, our famer will be better and better all over the years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Agada. Thank you so much. Dr. Heba Amin, you are welcome. Uh, good, uh, good evening for all of you. Uh, thank you all of you. Uh, it was a very amazing uh, professional experience. Uh, the communication and collaboration with the team members was uh, amazing. Um, and also the updated uh, topics of the ML web uh, that meet uh, diverse uh, uh, issues uh, in medical education. Uh, so thank you all for this uh, amazing experience. Thank you, Professor Hedda. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if anyone has any comment. Any comments are welcome. And I would like to thank uh, 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 all final, the teams and all the fellows. Final point. And, uh, final point, Professor final Maron. <laughs> uh, uh, now, after the sessions, uh, all the groups, uh, should upload their uh, feedback, the worksheet uh, uh, template for uh, on uh, uh, by the end of their courses on model. It is it is one last activity uh, in your courses on model. Your feedback about your model. You could upload uh, the this feedback um, as a word or as a PDF document uh, by the end of your course uh, to complete uh, the design and the shape of your course. Thank you all for your amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank uh, uh, you, Dr. Hani, for this amazing and all the ML web mentors who add a lot to this uh, discussion. I would like to, uh, to thank uh, all the fellows for this great feedback. I really learned a lot from you. Uh, I would like also to thank the FEMER team, uh, Dr. Randa, Dr. Maha, Dr. Uh, Dr. Magdalene, uh, Shayma, Hikmat, Zainab. They, they came with a great job all over the year to arrange the meetings, arrange the, uh, uh, the discussions uh, at any time we want, at any time uh, they are here uh, to, uh, to make the meeting. Uh, so thank, I'd like to thank them very, very, very much for their efforts, uh, Dr. Sana, Dr. Hani. Uh, uh, it was really amazing to, to work in this uh, team and uh, hope you uh, all the best in your uh, journey for second year fellows. This is the time for your graduation for first year. This is the time to present your posters in, the second, in your instruction phase for the second year. Uh, thank you so much for you all. Uh, again, you upload your worksheet on Moodle in your course design on Moodle as an activity on Moodle. Thank you all and see you all. Uh, enjoy your uh, journey, enjoy your uh, graduations, uh, and for the first year, enjoy your experience to complete your uh, journey in fame. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah.